You know, we're a couple of Hoosiers. Yeah. Born. I'm from Lafayette, and where is your home? Well, I was born in a little town called Dale, and then I lived in Rockport, Indiana for uh -huh. quite a few years, uh -huh. near Evansville. And uh, it, it, the thing that's sort of exciting to me, because um, I don't meet too many Hoosiers down here. No, I haven't uh, met too many Hoosiers. It's always a big thrill for me, though. Sometimes somebody will come back. And as a matter of fact, when we were in Pasadena, a lady came back, and she said, I hear you're from Indiana. And I said, yes. And she was from Evansville. Oh. So it's always fun. Oh, so we, well, yeah. <laughs> as, as a transplanted Hoosier, I say welcome to Texas. And I want to congratulate you on the absolutely marvelous performance in The Sound of Music. Thank you, Bobby. Very nice. Really, this is an exciting thing for me as a person in the audience to see. Clean, wholesome. How do you feel about doing Maria? Well, I feel uh, just great. And for the first time, it's the first role I've done, well, the most difficult role I've ever done. And Mary Martin said it was for her, too. It's very strenuous. You're on stage most of the evening. You sing, I don't know how many songs. Mm -hmm. And yet, I don't really get tired, you know. I, I get physically tired, but mm -hmm. I never get tired of doing the show. And my voice, somehow, I always manage to sing, you know. Do you sing? How and do you uh, sing? I think it's, it's the beauty of the show, and the fact that we all love it so much. You know, if, if I had the talent, that's the role I would love to do. If, if I had the talent. Well, I mean, maybe you do. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> and Peter Pan, that's another one. Oh, well, that's, that was a great show. And Mary, you know, she's fantastic. She's an old Texas gal. Yeah, Very yeah. Much. Yes. Comparing notes here. Florence, do you have a, a favorite song in the show? Well, I think the, the song that is the most fun for me to do is Do Re Me with the children. Yes. That I, I really love. And... Uh, but the song, I, I, it's very short. It's the reprise of uh, 16 going on 17. Yes, uh, when you do it with the, the with daughter. With Liesl, the yes, oldest yes, daughter. Yes. And uh, I that's think a that's beautiful moment. Oscar at his best, Oscar Hammerstein. Yes, yes. you do it justice, too. That's a, that's a beautiful moment in the show. Yes, it is, and it, it says so much, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, and another one of my favorite tunes from the show, Florence, was um, uh, Favorite Things. Oh, yes. Well, that's great fun. They're all. I just but love doing all of them. The, the lyrics are so great. How is it, you know, the beginning of... Raindrops on Roses. Yes. And it just goes, oh, it's beautiful. It's Raindrops on Roses and Whiskers on Kittens. <coughs> <laughs> I didn't vocalize before this, Bobby. <laughs> no, but, but the lyrics are, I think they're so poetic. They're, yes, they're very haunting. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's the kind of, you know... People always, unfortunately, compare Rodgers and Hammerstein with the last show that they did. Mm -hmm. They say, well, this score isn't quite as good as that score, but uh, it always grows on you, and it will become a classic, I'm sure. The thing is, every tune, Florence, you come away, you can hum every tune. That's right. That's right. And yet it isn't, it isn't all that easy, but somehow Richard Rodgers writes for the, the human heart. That's the only way to mm -hmm. put it. People can identify with the melodies and uh, feel a part of them, and I think that's so important. Did you actually play the guitar in Do Re Mi? Yes, I do. I have the callus to <laughs> prove it. <laughs> I had to learn to, uh, to, I used to play it as a child, you know, just oh, by you? ear, yeah, yeah. but uh, I wanted to learn to play it, and oh, when I, it's the most painful thing. I Those know. Those I strings yeah. just cut your fingers. I would come home, and my fingers would be bleeding, and I finally put on gloves, and I would... <laughs> <laughs> rehearsing with gloves on, <laughs> but I do play it. Well, it, uh, it, it, the whole thing, I, I just have been raving, raving, tell all my friends, you know, this is a show you've got to see, drop everything, and I feel that way about it. I Thank you, Bobby, do. very much. Do you have a, a, a theme that is a um, particular favorite of yours? Well, uh, I think one of the, my favorite scenes is the love scene. Mm -hmm. uh, we do it entirely differently than they did in New York. Oh. Completely differently. Uh -huh. We approach the whole thing. And I feel that it's so much of Maria mm -hmm. in the love scene. Mm -hmm. And, uh, of course, you folks would have to see that to understand what I mean. But uh, I like that scene it's, very It's much. a very tender scene. I can say that having seen it, Florence, uh, it, it, um, it, it says exactly to me what Maria is. I mean, here, uh, she could have been a very good nun, I think. I think yes, in many ways she could The have real been. Maria von Trapp still thinks she was in a marvelous uh -huh. nun. Uh -huh. But uh, then when she comes into the life of this man and his children, mm. and that, that love scene, it, it's a little gem. It is marvelous, and, and the fact that she still hasn't lost that flip kind of sense of humor, mm -hmm. you know, when he asked Maria uh, who told her that she was in love with him. 
and she turns and says, Brigitte, yes. one of the children. That, that yes. gets a great laugh. Yes, it does. And people love that line. And yes. it's, it's still Maria, you know. Yes. So I, I like that scene very yes. much. Florence, I remember that you were, if we may leave Sound of Music for just a moment, that you were um, the person who uh, p participated in the TV show that was the tribute to Oscar Hammerstein. Yes. And it was a beautiful thing. And um, do you have a, a sort of a favorite recollection of Oscar Hammerstein II? Yes, I do. As a matter of fact, it was shortly before he died, and Richard Rogers called me and asked if I would sing at a benefit honoring Oscar Hammerstein and Pearl Buck, they had mm -hmm. a, an organization which uh, helped place Eurasian children, which oh. are very hard to place. Oh. It was a marvelous thing that they did. So Richard was playing the piano and I was singing. We decided to do songs that Oscar had written with Jerome Kern. Mm -hmm. And uh, then Oscar Hammerstein got up and spoke. And he said, people are always panning us for our optimism and writing about beautiful things. He said, well, my feeling about that is this, that uh, Tennessee Williams uh, likes to write about an apple tree uh, when it's dying and the fruit's falling off and it's decaying and it's in winter and everything's terrible. And he said, I like to write about the apple tree when it's blooming and bearing fruit mm -hmm. and growing towards heaven. He said, they're both truth, mind you, but he said, I prefer the other. Oh, what a and beautiful And I think thought. that was uh, sort of told a great deal about Oscar Hammerstein. Mm -hmm. And he was a marvelous man. He was very, very tall and a uh, huge man, but very shy, what very soft-spoken. Oh, oh yeah. yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, to me, he sort of was uh, somebody that you wanted to run up and hug. I mean, yes. That's what I, I yes. felt. Yes, and if you did that, you know, he loved it, but he'd get all kind of shy. <laughs> and uh, he was... He was quite a man. I feel very blessed to have known him. Yes, I'm sure you do. You've had such, um, oh, such a, a varied career, Florence. I, I loved you so much when you were on the Garraway show. Oh, that was great show. fun. And of yes. course, I watch you all the time when you're on the Parr show. Yes. Do you, uh, do you miss the, the Today Show? Would you like to do that again? Well, the Today Show, uh, which I did, I guess, for almost eight months, was a great experience for me. I learned a great deal from Dave. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it's not the kind of show that I would really like to do all the time. Mm -hmm. I uh, love doing Jack Parr show, and that show can be a little more relaxed, mm -hmm. you have a little more time. The uh, Today Show is very hemmed in by, mm -hmm. uh, by time and that kind of thing. And I see time coming up over here too now. <laughs> As a matter of fact, all television shows are hemmed in by time. Yeah. But uh, they were both just great. I, I do miss uh, the Jack Parr show a great deal. I, I hope we'll be seeing you uh, uh, frequently on that show. Well, we've kind of been missing you a little bit. But, well, uh, I've missed it and, and all the people. It, doing this tour has really uh, convinced me how powerful both the Today and the Tonight shows mm -hmm, are. Mm -hmm. The people that come to see this show and come backstage and say, we watched you on the Parr show or the Garraway show. And, uh, you know, it helps. Well, yes, and the thing about the Parr show is that people are what they are. You're exactly yeah, like, uh, yeah. like you are on you the Parr show. You can't hide it. Default, you can't hide it. One of, one of my favorite memories, Florence, of you on the um, Parr show is the night that you sang to Alex King on his birthday. Remember? Oh, yes, dear you, Alex. Yeah. Uh, it's all such warmth and love yes. there. I'm very fond of him. Yes. People think he's a mean nasty man and he isn't. No, he, he's fun and, and he kind of, uh, he's on a little bit, isn't he? He's, all very, the time. he's very outspoken. Of course, yeah. that's his style, but he's, he's really a very kind, sweet man. And, uh, well, it showed uh, when you were singing to him, if you could have seen <laughs> what the camera saw, maybe you saw the playback, I don't know, but oh, he was so pleased and so yes, flattered. Yes, he is. He, he's uh, what, what was the song? I've forgotten that song. Probably it was just Imagine, which is yes, Jack's favorite was. song, it and I have, I have sung it about 600 times. Yeah. Look at me, I'm beginning to talk like a Texan. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all right. You know, you stay here a while, it'll, it's it'll true. rub off. It does. You yeah. know, I find myself doing it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's becoming. Yeah. Thank you. Florence Henderson, you are a living doll. You don't mind me saying that, do you? Not at all. And I, I'm so uh -huh. pleased uh, that you have taken this time from your busy schedule to let us come in here 
Mr. Ole, and interview you. Thank you for coming. I it, appreciate it's it. It's going to be one of my favorite memories of this I, I played Fort Worth once. Did you? Oh, I, I know. Give all Oklahoma. Of, lost my love, yes. Yes, I yes. Did. At Will, Will Rogers, I believe. Yes, I believe that was, that was the name of it. Well, we, we shall do that for you. And thanks again, Florence. Thank Anderson. you, Bobby.